You know, I'm so much into vintage junk, but this time I'm excited to unveil a very interesting innovative product. It's a closed micing system of new design that will help any guitar, bass or harp player to set up an ultimate gigging amplifier. You may think that micing up the amp is the responsibility of the sound crew, but unfortunately things don't always go this way. Let's face it, gigging musicians cannot always count on proper setup and soundcheck time, not to mention professional sound crew or skilled soundmen. Sometimes we happen to play in festival with a sloppy stage management or at events with poor coordination. We happen to struggle with rushed stage turns, having to develop the ability to quick problem solving. Also, in many clubs, there is not even a dedicated sound man. We have to take charge of every technical aspect concerning our performance, and we have to do it quickly and well. Sometimes we are even asked to handle technical equipment of the venue, equipment we have never seen or tested before often far from being in flawless operating conditions. Sometimes we have to deal with very small stages where fitting with drums and backline requires some Tetris skills. In all these cases, making our combo amplifier or speaker's cabinet can be awkward. Most of the times we don't really solve the problem, we just decide to give up. Doing so, we rely on the spread of sound from our amp speakers, which in many cases is simply not ideal or even sufficient for the venue. Even on super professional stages, the external mix stands or cabinet clamps are in the way and are often incidentally getting bumped or kicked out of place. The clamps sometimes fall apart. The British company Sam Systems found an answer to solve these long-standing issues once and for all. The solution is named IM Integral Microphone. It is basically a closed micing system, easily and conveniently fitting right inside our combo amp or speaker's cabinet. There's another important factor to consider. I've seen many sound guys simply putting a stand in front of a cabinet, quite randomly, and pointing the microphone to the center of the speaker. That is not quite correct. In fact, the placement of the microphone with regard to the speaker significantly affects the sound. In particular, we have three main parameters to adjust. Centering, distance and angle. Moving the microphone from the center of the speaker to the edge will determine the amount of high frequencies. The sound might result harsh if the microphone points directly to the center of the cone, while it gets mellower as we move it toward the edge. A closer distance to the speaker will result in prominent bottom-end frequencies, while moving farther away will produce a tone with more ambience diffusion. Also, when the microphone is straight on axis, we'll get a more detailed sound where we can get a more natural and every tone when the microphone is placed off-axis, angled away to a certain degree. Basically, with a microphone stand, we needed to do some tweaking to find the sweet spot in front of the speaker to shape our tone. If we mic up our amplifier adopting the old-school punkish technique with a cable loop around the hand handle and the microphone dangling in front of the speaker, there's a slim chance of finding any sweet spot, but even dedicated cabinet mic clamps or holders often allow limited handling. The Integral's microphone is already set on an average speaker's sweet spot, so all we have to do is simply plugging the XLR cable from our amplifier to the mixing desk. In essence, the Integral system relies on a quality dynamic microphone with super cardioid pickup pattern, 
are located directly in front of the speaker cone. The microphone capsule is positioned slightly off-center and off-axis on the spokes of a round, thin and light plastic frame. It's an easy plug-and-play solution operated without need of phantom power or batteries. The frame has a perforation matching standard speaker's mounting holes, allowing a quick installation between the speaker and the baffle. When the speaker's cable has custom connectors, you don't even need a soldering iron. Installing the IM in my 70s Fender Deluxe Reverb only required less than 30 minutes. All I had to do was removing the speaker's retaining nuts. Then I lifted out the speaker and dropped the integral over the bolts with the microphone facing the speaker. Once fitted, I just mounted the cone back in place over the integral. The integral assembly is firmly held in place by the speaker with the same bolts. The IM comes in three versions, each with a different frame diameter for 10, 12 and 15 inches cones. The output cable goes through a channel in one of the spokes and terminates with a balanced XLR connector housed in a small plastic box. The connector box can be fixed to the inside of the cabinet with the screws. I chose to simply use a short strip of Velcro, making a fully reversible upgrade that you could even mount in a precious vintage combo. With fully closed cabinets, you might need to drill a hole in the back panel to fit the provided output connector capsule. Your amplifier is now integrated with an efficient, reliable system, ready to mic up your amp in every gig and session. Now, how good is the sound captured with the Interglass microphone? Let's put that to the test. I'm using the loop station to keep the input signal perfectly consistent. Some systems pointed out that the IM is not intended to emulate the color or character of any given microphone model. It is rather designed to provide a transparent full-range frequency response. You could either simply use it flat or shape it up at your own taste with the EQ controls of your mixing desk. The sound with flat equalization is pretty satisfying. Nevertheless, in my opinion, the Integral's microphone could use a little cut in the medium-high spectrum and a little low-end boost to compensate a slight tendency to emphasize top-end frequencies. <laughs> If you, for instance, 
are used to the sonic character of a Shure SM57 microphone, a classic in cabinet micing, you can intervene on your equalizer to resemble its frequency response with pretty convincing results. The integral possibly sounds a little more articulated and defined. One of the strong points of the IM is that being in a perfectly fixed position, it keeps the sound absolutely consistent every time, so you can save your favorite EQ default settings once for all. Another strong point of the IM is that its capsule is pressure test to extreme volumes for the enjoyment of the loud guitar player. I don't know any. Speaking of loud volumes, with traditional microphones, you have to face up to leakages, bleeds or audio spills, especially when drums and backlines are tightly packed. The AM is so close to the speaker that you can mic adjacent amplifiers without picking up any other spill, which helps to minimize feedback issue. The integral system may seem like the Columbus egg. Nevertheless, the sound system designer Richard Smith spent many years developing and road testing the product, collaborating with sound engineers and established musicians. For about the same cost, of a good stage microphone, the IM offers so many advantages compared to a traditional product, which is great value for the money. In particular, the IM can be recommended to improve the sound dispersion of a small low voltage amplifier, which could turn into a perfect gigging workhorse. Also, when we have to carry our own amplifier to a new rehearsing room, for an audition or a jam session, it's unlikely we'll bring along a microphone and stand, and we might not find there what we need, so it's great to have a lightweight portable go-to amp with the integral fitted. We will save precious time for setting up the gear and sound checking while always being able to keep up with the volumes of any band. I would suggest to my friends boutique amp builders that they could offer the integral as an option to their clients. With the IM installed, you will typically ask yourself, how could I do without it? The day after I installed it in my deluxe, it promptly came handy. We played in a very small venue where they propagate the music outside through extension of door loudspeakers, so we barely fit in a tiny stage while we still need to make the hams. Some people outside mentioned that through the external loudspeakers the guitar tone was really good, and someone even thought the music came from a CD. So the Integral definitely finds its ideal application in a live band environment. Finally, the good news is that installing Integral inside your amp, of course, does not prevent from using the traditional method. If needed, still you can use any other microphone or even combine the integral with an external microphone. You can do a studio recording with a vintage valve ribbon Neumann and use the integral for a live gig on the following day. Let me know your opinion and impressions on the integral in the comments below or in our Facebook group. In the next episode, BTR number 25, we are flying to Paris to see something special. If you are interested, take a moment to subscribe to the BTR channel 
and hit the bell so that you will get a notification as soon as the next video or any new content is out. Thank <laughs> you.